Ja. Ja. Is it golden hour? Is that golden hour? It's not necessarily, is it, with mountains? It's when the... the sun... Yeah, same in year on. And I've seen all the seasons, like day in, day out. <laughs> yeah, and there's time to go to a different location. Right. It's really good. It'd be interesting to see what pick-up you get in the States. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, uh, you know, Church of Anne Roosevelt. Yeah, and Jolie. <laughs> So this painting, which comes from the Jolie family collection, will be sold here in London on the 1st of March in the Modern British Art Evening Sale at Christie's. I believe that there'll be uh, a, a you know, participating audience. So this lovely painting by Sir Winston Churchill, uh, which was painted in 1943, is an oil on canvas uh, that he uh, produced shortly after uh, um, his visit uh, with President Roosevelt to the Casablanca Conference uh, in Morocco. And the day after the conference, which was a 10-day conference, they went, um, it, Churchill invited Roosevelt to Marrakesh because he insisted he had to see the sun setting on the Atlas Mountains. Uh, it's the only painting that Churchill produced during the war because obviously he was so busy, uh, you know, dealing with the war and fighting the war. Uh, and he gave it then as a gift to Roosevelt in memory of their brief, brief time together overnight in Marrakesh. So, the, so Churchill took, took up painting fairly late in life, aged 40, uh, uh, and um, he was um, trained, well trained maybe is not the right word, but he, he certainly took advice and was taught by Sir John Lavery, famous portrait painter of the time, um, who introduced him to North Africa. In total, though uh, Churchill was a, a, an amateur artist and it was a pastime, he painted some 500 paintings, a little bit more than that. <coughs> Uh, but during the Second World War, uh, he painted only one, and this is the only painting he produced. So I think you can consider this as probably his most important painting, uh, and the fact that he gave it to President Roosevelt, uh, those two great wartime leaders, uh, you know, adds you know, incredibly to you know, the importance of the work itself. Yeah. Yeah. I'll let it be, but yeah. I we won't get now. Yeah. We'll find the estimate is one and a half to two and a half million pounds. I'm not really quite sure what it'll make. Uh, the record price at auction for a Churchill is about 1.8 million um, for a painting that in my view is not as important as this. And I think this is probably his most important work. So uh, we're hopeful. <laughs>